Dr. Moore, can you explain the ACE2 receptor? First, please excuse my art, but this is a uh, picture of COVID-19, so it's crown-like uh, proteins uh, around the core of the virus. And this is my mock-up of a respiratory cell, like at the back of your throat or uh, in the back of your nose. And this virus, to survive, has to attach to your respiratory cells. And it uses this spike protein, which is sticking on the outer surface of the, of the virus, uh, to bind to a particular receptor. Once it binds, it can then get inside the cell and take over the cell metabolism and reproduce itself. Once it reproduces itself enough, it bursts the cell and hence some of the symptoms you get a sore throat because your cells at the back of the throat are bursting uh, because they're so full of the virus. You'll get a sore throat, you'll get a low-grade fever, you'll get achiness and that's all from this virus binding to the ACE2 receptor, getting inside your cell, taking over its metabolism and then rupturing the cell. So some of the symptoms now you can understand are the cells at the back of your throat getting infected and invaded and actually bursting from too much virus inside them. It is now known that children over 10 have ACE2 receptors in a very similar density to adults. So children over 10 can get full symptoms just like adults, whereas children under 10 have less ACE2 receptors and hence are less prone to severe symptoms and less prone uh, to transmitting the virus. That's the theory at present. It makes sense if there are different densities of this receptor for the virus in adults versus children under 10.